over here, this is stitch length and also um, it does reverse when you lift it. So we can start, we're starting at a one stitch length for our straight stitch, um, you know, up and down depending on what you're doing. Five is for like gathering stitches that you're gonna pull out later um, that need to be loose so you can ease or gather. Um, but two and a half is like a pretty normal, like everyday stitch length on the Bernina. Um, and so you can just run straight stitches that way. Um, zigzag stitches, you have to work with this knob up here. There, it's labeled zero to five. Um, that is the zigzag width. And you can see, um, and the inner knob changes the needle positioning. Um, for zigzag, we can do, I'll just do like a, this is the tiny, tiny one stitch. Um, but I'm just gonna do like a two and a half zigzag or two zigzag so you can see. Um, but again, with a zigzag, I'll do a two, two. Um, zigzag, the tension. Um, now for a button hole. So to do that, I'm gonna have to do a couple of things. First, I'm gonna need to rethread this through up through the little tension arm. So there, that can be put back in. And then I'm gonna need to change the foot um, that has a notch here, three, little toes on the front and it has some grooves in the back to help it pass over the buttonhole itself. Um, so to do that, there's a little red lever behind here on the Bernina and you push that up and the foot drops out and you can put, and then you lower, you can lower the lever and then press the little, kind of like right here, this little lever. You lift that back and it allows you to pull this down and get it out of there. Um, to put it in, there's this little kind of a cone shaped piece right here. You onto that and then pull that lever down to secure it in there. So again, send the flywheel forward to get the bobbin thread up and out. Um, so to do a buttonhole, you have to work with this knob. You can see there's a buttonhole um, symbol next to it and you have to, it goes around clockwise only and at each step it sets everything else. So you just need to work with this and set your stitch length properly. Um, but it only, you can't go backwards, it only goes clockwise. So you have to go, like I would have to turn all the way through the steps. I go all the way up to the top and then like a half turn back down. So like a very small, like a half of a stitch length. Um, so up here, the machine should be set um, on this bottom setting, and that's where the buttonhole is, as well as straight stitch and zigzag. So that's where you should, that's like where the machine will be 99% of the time um, when you have it set. So um, I have my stitch length set to like very short length. Then I would go, oh, another important thing, don't turn this while the needle's in the machine, like while the needle is down because you'll break your needle because it shifts it back and forth. Yes. So I made a, an eye shaped marking and this is, this little notch right here is at the top of the eye. And I think I've actually placed it a little far back. And my needle, when it goes down, goes right into that, the top of that eye. So now I'm ready to stitch of the buttonhole, which is gonna be back and forth down this first leg, this first side. So I've reached the end, and now the needle is up. I can switch to the next step, which is gonna be stitching straight backwards. Let to make sure my needle's up. This is gonna be the cross tack at the end of the button up here. And then, and that's enough. I go to the next step, which 
and that's good. You're gonna get the other tack at the end. And then the last set, back up to the top of the buttonhole. Um, and then, let's see here. And always make sure you turn it back to zero because um, if you forget to do that, the machine just doesn't sew and you can't understand what's going on and it's probably the buttonhole. 